Element Optics is a company who's making a big splash in the optics industry. In this video, we're looking at their latest offering that's sure to continue making big waves, the brand new Helix Front Focal Plane 6 to 24. What's up everybody? Welcome Squad Squad and welcome to Slav Guns. I'm glad to have you here, as always. Over the last year, we've covered a number of optics that brought good image quality, a useful front focal plane reticle at previously unheard of prices. One such scope which I've come to love is the Element Optics Titan 5-25 scope, which we covered in the previous video, which you can find linked above. It's an awesome scope with the best turrets under $1,000, terrific image quality, and an overall solid build. But what if your budget was just $500 instead of $800? Your option from Element was the Helix Rifle Scope. However, it only came as a second focal plane reticle, that is, until now. This is the brand new Helix 6-24 with a front focal plane reticle, a highly anticipated scope in the under $500 price point. In the prior video, I did an unboxing and gave you my initial impressions, and if you haven't seen that video, please make sure to find it linked above. In this video, we're going to start by looking at the features, we'll take it to the range, and I'll give you my impressions and opinions having had the scope now for a few months. If you want to skip to a particular section, there is a timeline in the description below, along with links to where you can find more information on the scope and where to find it. So, let's get into it. Okay, let's talk about the features and what makes the Helix Front Focal Plane such an important scope. And once again, it's on the gun now and I'm dressed differently because it's been about two months since I filmed the initial sections where we did the unboxing and I just got the scope. So we had plenty of time to play with this and um, I have it mounted to our upgraded Mossberg Patriot rifle and it's an awesome gun at a very good price and we've upgraded with some goodies from Jard, Boyd's, and Patriot Valley Arms. So if you want to see the videos on this gun, I will have them linked above. Okay, so let's talk about the scope. The Helix is the entry level of the Element Optics line of products below the 34 millimeter Titan and the high-end Nexus scopes that's made in Japan. For launch, Element Optics had the Helix only as the, sec as the second focal plane radical rifle scope and this is the brand new front focal plane reticle options. One of the fastest growing areas of firearms is long range shooting and why this roughly $500 price point is seriously heating up with the value leader here being the Arkin SH4 Gen 2, which has in the past year or so really made itself the recommendation for a front focal plane rifle scope at under 500 bucks and it offers many of the features that you would find in the $800 price point. And while the Element Titan is a superb scope for the money, it's still in that $800 price range. If you haven't seen the complete video on this scope, take a look at it linked above. So this is Element's entry into that sub $500 front focal plane rifle scope space. The Helix FFP rifle scope is built on a 30 millimeter tube rather than the 34 millimeter tube that the Titan is built on. This will make it more compact and, well, here, here, here's the difference. It'll make it more compact and it's gonna be lighter weight, making it more appropriate on a hunting rifle versus the larger Titan, which is quite heavy. The Helix front focal plane scope weighs 26 ounces versus the 39 ounces for the Titan. 
The Helix features a four time magnification range from 6 to 24, and that makes it a four power magnification or four time erector. Now, this is going to be just fine for longer range shooting, and it's still going to be versatile enough for hunting. The 6 to 24 also puts it in the same magnification range as the Arcan SH4 Gen 2, the Sightmark Latitude, and the new Crimson Trace Hardline Pro rifle scopes, which I haven't had a chance to play with yet. As we should expect at this price point, you have a fast focus eyepiece with a very nicely scalloped ring, and you also do have an adjustable parallax that'll let you focus as close as 10 yards. This makes the scope unique and suited for air guns as well, and it's not surprising considering that's where the founders came from. Most scopes in this price point will typically focus down to just 25 meters. The scope has quite a forgivable eye box and up to 4 inches of eye relief, making it suitable for larger calibers without being concerned about scope bite. The eye box here also seems like it's slightly more forgiving than the Titan, and the Titan is also already known for having a fairly generous eye box. The Helix front focal plane scope has 19 mils or 65 MOA of elevation adjustment, which combined with the 20 or 30 MOA rail will be able to get most calibers out past 1,000 yards. For windage, we have 11.9 or 40 MOA worth of adjustment. So sorry, 11.9 mils or 40 MOA of adjustment. Okay, so let's talk about the turrets and the reticle. When it comes to higher end optics for long and extended long range shooting, there are a number of features we're looking for. We're looking for things such as a zero stop, a tactile and crisp turret, precise tracking, and a front focal plane reticle. While many companies sacrifice quality on the turrets while moving down market, the Helix front focal plane has certainly not done that. The turrets on this scope look and feel nearly identical to the bigger Element Titan, which I consider to be one of the leaders in the $1,000 price point. The clicks are super tactile, they are precise, and there is no slop on here. The same as on the bigger Titan. So the sound just is slightly different, but they feel identical. Okay. You have 1 tenth millirad clicks and 6 mils of rotation on the millirad scope and you have quarter MOA and 15 MOA per rotation on the MOA version. Just like on the Titan, you have toolless turrets that you can pop and then you can reset it to where you need to. However, if you want to reset the zero stop, you do need to use the small Allen key to reset it. Now, again, at this price point, a zero stop is nice, and it's super impressive to have a hard zero stop here at this price point. Now, as far as tracking, while I have not personally done a detailed tracking test on it yet, I've shot it enough to get a sense that it tracks as it's supposed to. More than that, a friend who's an expert in this field has had his for a while and tells me that his tracks exceptionally well. Now, one of the ways that Element has been able to save money is in regards to the number of options. Unlike the Titan and the Nexus, which have four reticle choices, you only are going to have two reticle choices with the Helix front focal plane. Here, you have a choice of either a Millirad tree reticle or an MOA tree reticle. If you want a helix with a clean reticle, then your only choice is the original second focal plane scope, and I'll have a review of that shortly, and if you're watching it in the future, you'll be able to find it linked above. The reality is, one of the main advantages of first focal plane rifle scopes is that you can use the reticle to quickly and easily make the adjustments for windage and elevation, no matter what magnification you're on. A clean reticle almost takes some of that functionality away. Now, one thing to note is that the Element Helix does not come with an illuminated reticle. At this price point, some do, most do not, and those that do generally have something else taken away or compromised in order to keep the price down. In short, features-wise, with the Element Helix front focal plane, you have everything that you need done right 
without the frills. The scope sells for about $479 and it is manufactured overseas as is the norm today. Okay, let's take it outside and get some first impressions and then we'll come back and I'll give you the initial bottom line. Okay, so this is the through the scope of the Helix front focal plane. We are at the range, so let's go look at that target. So we are on the lowest magnification, which is the six. And out to 24. Uh, so it, it, it is actually better just through the scope footage that appears this way and through the camera. Radical is quite nice. So right now it is about four o'clock and it is the winter time. Uh, cloudy day, it's gonna snow a little bit later tonight. So nice and cloudy. But you can basically see that the image quality is still quite good for what it is. Um, there is no illumination on the reticle. But it is quite good. Um, so I would say image quality versus the Titan, it is not as sharp. But it is actually quite good for what you're getting at this price point. It is fairly good. Um, it is a 30 millimeter front focal plane radical. So what I, my first impressions are, like I said, the scope is nice. Um, I do like the fro lever adjustment that we have on it. It does make it quite easy to work with, especially when it's cold. Uh, and if you're not wearing gloves, these scallops might be a little tough to get a hold of. Turret size is quite good. And no problem with that. The parallax is also decently sized. The problem that I find is that the scallop serrations are just really sharp. So you're definitely going to get a grip on them, but it does make it a little bit more difficult uh, on your skin. So wear them with gloves. But it's the exact same thing that I said for the Titan rifle scope. Otherwise, I think for the price, this is quite a really good scope for the money. Um, have zero issues with it. The Helix front focal plane rifle scope is an important scope for Element as it's the company's first entry into the fast growing sub $500 precision rifle segment. What sets the scope apart is that it's certainly not feature rich, meaning it's not gonna have a large variety of reticles, it's not gonna have an illuminated reticle, it's not gonna have a five or six X magnification range, and it's not gonna have a 34 millimeter tube or locking turrets. What the scope is, however, is a very good scope that absolutely nails in the must-haves instead of trying to spread itself out too thin. This scope has very good image quality for the price point, and it has very good reticle for the purpose. Furthermore, because the scope only has a four-time magnification range from 6 to 24, the reticle is thin enough in the highest magnification, and yet it's still thick enough and usable on the wider angle. Most importantly, however, is that this scope has very good turrets, probably the best turrets at this I would say under 700 bucks, this has the nicest turrets I felt. And it has solid tracking at any price point. There is, however, one thing that I do need to bring up that has been bugging me with both the bigger Titan and this Helix. The texturing cuts, I'm not going to see it on this way, but you can see it on here. The texturing cuts on the Parallax in particular are super duper sharp, almost uncomfortable in the winter time with cold hands. It's great with gloves, but if you're using bare hands, it's a little aggressive. Now, one solution is perhaps to put like a rubber band or if there's like a gel ring around it, that would be great. Otherwise, my initial impressions after spending a couple of months with the scope is that it's certainly impressive and I feel it's gonna be the way to go for a precision rifle scope 
at under 500 bucks. So that's my take, my initial take on the brand new Element Optics Helix Front Focal Plane Rifle Scope. If you enjoy this video or you learned something new, you know exactly what to do. Smash that like button and share the video with your friends. Now, if you haven't seen the prior video on the Big Brother Element Titan, click on the link up here, or you can watch the complete precision rifle playlist here. If you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it, please help support the channel by becoming a part of the Squad Squad by clicking on a join button down below. As a bonus, supporting channel members get exclusive discounts to numerous vendors and you also get bonus entries into our giveaways. As always, I appreciate you watching, keep on squatting, and I'll see you in the next video.